So winter time's just about over. The snow's come and gone. Uh, this year I got an abnormal amount of snow, like a lot of you got some rather odd winter weather. And it's all melted away. The rain has subsided quite a bit. And it's time to get this uh, season started. And the first thing I want to do is a soil test. So let's get to it. Okay, for those of you who haven't seen this before, this is a uh, My Soil Soil Test Kit. A lot of you might be familiar with the Yard Mastery Soil Test Kit. It's the same thing. Um, My Soil does the, uh, the testing for Yard Mastery as well. They're, they're identical kits. Um, and there's a couple ways you can purchase these. I'll, I'll leave links in the description below. But you can buy just the test kit, or you can get what's called a starter pack, which includes the test kit and this very handy probe or you can get what's called a pro kit which comes with two test kits and the probe so i've got two because i want to do one for the front yard one for the backyard and this really handy probe i'll show you how this thing works but uh these are pretty straightforward there's a lot of videos out on this so i'm not going to get too in depth in it um just make sure you don't mix up if you do two different kits you know which one's front which one's back maybe grab a sharpie and write on the box so you know which one's which Okay, so I'm going to write on here, backyard, and when you open these up, they come with uh, your registration, your kit number you need to register online. I'm going to write on here, the backyard, the envelope, and then of course the little scooper, and the deionized water. Don't loot, don't drain any of that water out when you're doing this. But one thing I've seen a lot of guys uh, do is they want to take their whichever way they're pulling soil and they want to get some special container to mix it all up in and pull a sample. Well, here, here's a little trick. This comes right out. And just throw your samples in the box. Okay, so when you do this, you want to pull six, eight, ten, however many you want um, samples throughout the, the yard. Uh, I would say do at least six would be a, a great idea. Um, I'm just going to probably pull eight back here in the backyard. No big deal. But just kind of randomly, you know, do one here, do one here, and just kind of work my way through it. Um, nothing real rocket science about it, but just kind of randomly pull so you get a good mixture. All right, so I've gathered about, uh, I think about eight samples here. And one thing you wanna do is pull all this organic material out, you know, grass, roots, any rocks. Try and get that out as much as you can. And if your soil is a little wet like mine still is, um, you can break it up or even throw it in a, uh, even throw it in a bag and pulverize it a bit. I'm mostly just trying to get, you know, this stuff out of there. But, and it isn't hard. You want to get most of that out. And if you get something weird, like, I have no idea what that is. I don't know, something the dog's left. Get rid of it. <clears throat> but, we'll get this cleaned up and moved on to the next step. Alright, so I'm not going to nitpick this thing to death. You can get, you know, the bulk of this stuff out. The next thing you want to do is simply uh, open your jar here. Careful not to spill this. Don't mess with the uh, little doodad in there. I just grab a scoop of the soil. You want about a level scoop. You, know what you can. I kind of like to level it off. Well, a little trick I saw from Bermuda Brian. If you guys haven't checked out his YouTube channel, you should. Especially if you're in warm season grasses. Um, a little trick I saw was to flop this back out. 
pull any more debris out. And then you just drop this right into the, uh, the deionized water. And try not to overflow it. Put that down in there. There we go. And then just cap it off. The rest of that you can discard. My soil comes with a prepaid envelope. Just stuff it in there. And you're good to go. That's it. We'll go get the front yard done. Alright, well, I kind of forgot to hit record on the front yard. But anyways, I got the two samples. I'm going to get these dropped in the mail. And they say within six to eight business days you should see results online. Don't forget to register your kits online so they know who to send the results to. And you usually want to do that before you even mail it. But uh, let's see roughly when I get the results. Today is uh, Monday, March 1st. And we'll see when I actually get them. Okay, so I got the uh, soil test results back. Let's go over them real quick and kind of lay out my plan for the year. Okay, so this is your soil test kit dashboard. You should have any samples you've submitted listed here. Now I have one from last year and one from this year. One of the things I wanted to point out with the My Soil Test Kit is you now can compare front yard, backyard from one year to the next. And let's pick the right one here. I want to do front yard last year and this year, compare samples, and then it puts a side-by-side -side graph. So it's really nice to kind of track your progress. Um, as you can see, my phosphorus went down, my potassium went up, my pH levels went up considerably where I wanted it. So really nice feature to track your progress. Really, really cool feature. Another thing you can do is compare, let's say, your front and backyard or your however many tests you want to do at one time. I did two this year. And if you want to compare them, you can see they're pretty consistent with a few exceptions. Um, the phosphorus in the back is probably from the overseeding package because that obviously is going to seed with phosphorus. Um, and the iron in the front was from a video I did with a, a, like a double dark video. I did kind of a heavy iron application. So this isn't too surprising either. But everything else you can see is kind of consistent. So is there really a need to do two separate tests? Probably not. Um, but I'm on two separate programs, front and rear, so that's what I'm going to do. So if you want to purchase a new kit from here, you can, or you register your kits from the same page, whatever you need to do. So that's it. That's my soil test for this year. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below. If you found any value in this video at all, hit the like button. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. I'm getting really close to 1,000 subscribers and love to get there quickly. It's a huge milestone for us YouTubers to break a thousand subscribers. Um, if you have any uh, additional info you want to look into with soil testing and stuff like that, My Soil now has their own YouTube channel called Soil Lab, and I'll link to that down below also. You can check that out. It's a fairly new channel, but they've got some pretty exciting content coming. Until then, we'll see you in the next one.